the next morning, we planned to have an early meeting with the village elders, but it kept getting pushed back because the villagers were, you know, conducting their, their morning prayers. That kind of went a little longer than they anticipated. So we finally got to the shore meeting about one o'clock in the afternoon, met with all the villagers, and it was a little unusual this time because normally there's a few people, you know, mostly males who engage in those meetings, and, you know, they'll ask some questions, we'll ask some questions, but the interest is minimal from them. They don't quite care what we had to say or the ways we could help them. But on, on this day, there was a lot more engagement from you know, the locals than we had been used to. It seemed every male fighting agent above was in attendance, and they were very interested in everything we had to say. And they were asking a lot more questions and indicated they wanted to build some sort of relationship with us which at first we took this as, you know, something positive, you know, hey, we haven't been here in a while, you know, maybe they actually do want our help and we can, we can do some good here. But as the meeting progressed, Sergeant Box, our Marine ETT, the embedded training team, he had an interpreter with him. He alerted us that the interpreter was receiving radio traffic that was of a language he didn't know and he couldn't understand. And the Marine ETT, Sergeant Box, was kind of put on edge about that. And he informed us, hey, we need to get going. You know, this isn't good. We need to leave. 